What's up everyone, it's Scott from New Garden Road, always out here to inform, inspire, and elevate you. Today, I wanna to talk about harvesting onions. Here in Central Texas, we plant them in January. I planted these from sets about the middle of January, and in general, they're ready in the month of May. What I've been noticing the past few days is a clear indication that my onions, at least half of them, the Texas Legend variety, are ready to harvest. So this is a good example to contrast for you. This is a Texas legend. This is a yellow onion. It's got a really soft neck that's fallen over. At that point, these leaves, which are essentially the top of the ring of the onion, that is the bulb, are ceasing to conduct photosynthesis. They're gonna slow down, they're gonna turn yellow and then brown, and this is not gonna size up any longer. Once this happens, that's the beginning of that process, and essentially, you can go ahead and pull them and start curing them at that point. I wanna make sure I point out, you don't need to wait until the tops are brown before you harvest the onions. Size is not necessarily an indicator, because that will vary. This one is not very big, while you know, I've got one that I harvested over here. This is a pretty good size one. Comparatively, it's nearly twice as big as that one. Nonetheless, they're both ready. This Southern Bell Red is one that takes a little bit longer to mature. It's still fully upright. It's still working. It's still sizing up. I'll leave these be until they begin to fall over. You can see one here, it's kind of started, but it's, it's probably gotten a little bit dragged down by its neighbors. It's important to maintain the moisture for onions as they're sizing up. These do not need to be watered. They need to start drying out. If you're growing them side by side or if you're getting some rain, that means you probably need to go ahead and harvest them. This one here, I pulled and I noticed, still got a relatively good amount of moisture in that soil. Now, that's naturally going to dry out and they'll start to cure that way. But what about the red onions next door? Those need water and if I'm watering them, then maybe these are going to be more predisposed to some type of rot issue. I like to put them in some bins that have some ventilation, get them off the ground away from insects and start to dry them in the sun for about two to three days. You can do that if it's not going to rain, that's a great way to get them dry. And another tip that I have for you is when you harvest them, keep them fully intact. Keep the roots, the dirt, the tops on. Don't mess with them at all. Put them in your bins and take those tops and lay them over to cover the bulbs of the onions so they will begin to dry out, but they'll also be protected from the direct sun. Okay, I'm out here checking on these onions. They've been in the sun curing for about six days. That's longer than I intended for them to sit out here, but that's okay. They, they seem like they're doing good. The tops have dried, turned brown, and specifically on this neck here, when I pinch that, there's no slippery, slimy, moisture feeling to it. It feels dry, so that's good. At this point, this onion is ready to be trimmed up and brought inside for long-term storage. And what I like to do is cut it about an inch from the top. You don't want to cut too deep into the onion. Leave some, just like you see them at the store in general, that's going to help them remain viable for longer. I'll trim off the roots. If there's any excess dirt, I'll probably knock that off, but in general, I don't mess with them very much at all until I'm ready to prepare them for food. I feel like this is turning out to be a rewarding season for growing onions and I'm really happy about that because I love growing some of these crops here that will feed me for several months to come. You can do all sorts of things with these. You can grill them, you can freeze them, pickle them, dehydrate them, make spice blends, and they, in my opinion, are pretty easy to grow. Here in Central Texas, you need to look for those slips starting in January and get them in, get them planted. If you wanna plant onion from seed, it's a little bit complicated. You need to pick short day varieties here in the south and those are generally planted in the fall, grow over the winter when we have shorter days. And that will correspond to their size as they begin to start to size up and produce bulbs. If you plant a different variety, such as a long day, then you might end up with something different. They're not gonna size up accordingly. They may bolt and go to flower. So that's tricky. I find it easier to plant them from the onion sets that I get at the nursery. We have a really good supply here. But, you know, experiment, try it out. This is the bulbing onion. There's all kind of onions that you can grow. Shallots are great, green onions, bunching onions, leeks. And I've also got a ton of garlic growing. I'm gonna be harvesting that very soon so stay tuned for that now check out more awesome gardening videos on my channel like this video and follow new garden road for weekly content you can grow your own food keep it organic